What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We are up against Jorgen, who's bringing a really cool team. I love the fact that he's bringing Drug Trio, even though I am scared of, an e of um, Arena Trap. Bringing in the Togekiss, the Blastoise, Dragonite, Dragapult, and the Gosh Darn Cinderace, which we've actually seen um, a little, a couple Wi-Fi battles ago. So we're on Wi-Fi battle number two with this team. If you guys missed the last Wi-Fi battle, go back and check it out after this video or before this video. It's up to you guys. There's a playlist down below. So feel free to check it out. Um, so Jorgen's team is absolutely threatening. I don't know what to bring. I really want to start Serena. I can, I can you turn out of there? Actually, nah, yeah, I was going to say Sincino, but Serena's also very tempting. Um, I'm going to go Serena in case this Doug Trio is choice scarfed in any way. Because I don't want to get trapped. I'd rather U-turn or Trop Kick and get the hashtag out of there. So we're going to just start Serena here and um, hope for the best. I really, really, really am afraid of the gosh darn Dragonite. That's all I got to say. I'm scared of that Dragonite. I have, I have no words for that Dragonite, so... Yeah, the best thing I got against the Dragapult and Dragonite is my own Dragonite, so I gotta set up a, uh, um, a Dragon Dance and go from there. So, just like we predicted, my opponent starts off with the Doug Trio, and we start off with the Serena. So, Molt Patrol comes out, and honestly, the best play I got is to Trop Kick, because he has a lot of physical attackers, and Trop Kick lowers the, the attack stat by one. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna overplay it, we're not gonna overpredict, nothing like that. So, Trop Kick comes out. And it does not knock out. It's probably sashed. It's sashed. So um, the Mole Patrol hangs on with the sash. And it's going to hit me with the Stealth Rock. Very good. Very good. For my opponent. Not for us. Do I have Rapid Spin on the Serena? I don't think I got Rapid Spin. That's where I messed up with the Serena. And then I forgot to upgrade my Milotic. Ah, man. I just didn't learn from the last Wi-Fi battle. So it is what it is, though. We're going to Trop Kick. And hope for the best. I really wish I was packing the, uh... I really wish I was packing the gosh darn rapid spin on my Serena. But I'm not, unfortunately. I'm not, and it's gonna hurt us in this Wi-Fi battle. So, prior... So, if you guys didn't watch my last Wi-Fi battle, this is basically a team that we've already used before. Um, and... This team went 3-0 the first time we used it. Can we go... Well, technically, we tied the last battle. Um, can we go 2-1 and one, or 2-0-1 and one in this Wi-Fi battle? So, yeah. Quick spoiler alert. I should not have said we tied the last Wi-Fi battle. So, my bad. You guys should still watch it, though. It was really good. For real. Came down to one-on-one. -on -one. You guys should check that out. So, what are you going to go out into? So, Snips comes out. The Togekiss. Probably threatening me with a... Honestly, I kind of want a Gardevoir here because let's say this thing hits me with the Thunder Wave with Synchronize, it'll get Thunder Waved also. So if worse comes to worse, it goes for a Air Slash, that's perfectly fine. I don't mind that so much, although I don't want to... Yes, so this is exactly why we went into the Gardevoir because now this thing is also kind of, you know, slow. It's not going to do anything to us moving forward, so... That's why I went to the Gardevoir. Gardevoir should be able to do some kind of work against this thing. Now, he does not have any... Ground type Pokemon, so we're gonna go ahead and just hit the Thunderbolt. Check this out. I got two more Peko uh, pins. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, there you go. That's a beautiful image right there. Woo! I really love these uh, more Peko pins. They're my favorite out of all the pins I have, and I only got four pins, right? Four or five. I know I got the Grimstar one that I showed you guys before, and I got my Antronatus one also, and actually I only got four pins. So, I'm a big pin collector when it comes to Pokemon. I, I only buy the TCG now to get these pins. I used to collect a lot, and then it just became too expensive, and I just don't want any of that. All right, so Gardevoir gets, is, it's still paralyzed, unfortunately. Now, this is where we gotta make a decision. Do, I can't necessarily let Gardevoir go down, though it is kind of worthless to me at this point. Can I moon bust after being paralyzed? I can, so. We're gonna try to see what this thing is gonna throw at us. He's gonna go Phantom Force, okay. So this is a physical Dragapult. We have nothing for it, to be honest. We got absolutely nothing. Actually, we can go into the Sensino. That's that's our play. 
I don't know why I didn't do this before. I'm kind of glad that he went Phantom Force. I really am. So Centino comes out, gonna take some Stealth Rock damage, unfortunately, and um, Phantom Force isn't gonna do anything to us. So Dragobolt just kind of appears there. And then I really want a Rock Blast. I really do. I, I think I'm gonna Rock Blast here. That's probably our best play in case he's, this thing wanna, wants to switch out. So it doesn't switch out, unfortunately. And this is gonna be a two hit KO, technically 10. There you go, one more. What do you wanna hit me with now? U-turn maybe, Dragon Dance, Dragon Darts, okay. I think we take this, right? We take it, we take it. And then since Sino is very valuable to me, we can take one more Stealth Rock after this. At least I want to think we can. Cause it's not, it doesn't do a quarter. I know that for sure because only Pokemon that are weak to Stealth Rock get dealt a quarter. So if you wanna go into Blastoise, go right ahead. I'm gonna just Rock Blast moving forward. Okay, Blastoise does come out exactly like we figured. Rock Blast is gonna hit, and I don't think this is gonna be a 10 hit. I think it is, actually. Oh, that was a nice roll there. Okay, yeah, we'll be able to get rid of this Blastoise easily. What is this? Leftovers. Okay, yeah, we'll be able to take this Blastoise. Blastoise looks so huge compared to Cincino. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. All right, so Cincino Rock Blast again. This Blastoise is going down. Since you know, putting in work against my opponent in the early stages. That is very good. Very good for us. So Blastoise goes down. We didn't even need the Bullet Seed. And I was thinking about saving Since you know, for the Bullet Seed. Now we can just honestly come in later and spam the Rock, um, the Rock Blast. I gotta worry about the Cinderace though. The Cinderace is gonna be a really big threat against this team. And this is exactly what's gonna come out here. So big boy Cinderace comes out. And I hope it doesn't go big boy on us. I really don't. I'm just going to go with my Lodic. I got nothing. I, I really am upset. This my Lodic should have Scald, Ice Beam, Recover. And um, I don't know what the other move is. But definitely not this move set here. I just, I leveled this thing up. I evolved it. And I said, all right, this thing's ready. I completely forgot about the move set. And I forgot to change it from the Wi-Fi battles that we had. Um, what well, Wi-Fi battle we had the last time. And this is a brand new Milotic. The reason this one's a brand new Milotic is because I wanted all my Pokemon in a, um, in a gosh darn love ball. So all of my Pokemon are in love balls. That's basically why I had to rebreed this thing. Because the last time it was just, I think it was mixed Pokeballs. I can be wrong. I don't remember. I really don't. So bounce is a thing on this, on the Cinderace. And I'm okay with that. This is when I wish I had Ice Beam. Because that would, that would have been good. That would have been really, really good for us. But now we gotta take it. And we gotta try to hit the Cinderace with this gosh darn um, Surf. That is not supposed to be Surf. It should be Scald. Scald. Um, obviously, we take that pretty easily. We're gonna Surf here. Probably not gonna do much. Oh, it does more than I thought it would. Okay. Am I loading proving it's wrong? And I'm just gonna go ahead, go ahead and surf one more time. Man, I got I got the feeling of I got the little feeling right here that I wanna burp or something. Alright, so Cinderace turns into a bug type. Probably gonna go out into the Dragonite or Dragapult is my is my guess. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say he's gonna go into one of the two. I hope it's not the Dragonite, because I am not packing Ice Beam on this thing, and I do not want this want this thing to set up a dragon dance on us. I think my Lodic gets Haze. This my Lodic, if it does, uh, Haze is definitely the fourth move. Oh, Dragon Tail. Dragon Tail would be cool too. All right, so Slayer 69 comes out. This is the um, the Dragapult, and we're just gonna surf it up. Should be able to take this quite easily. Oh, it does. I thought it was gonna knock out for a second, and that's fine. If you want to knock us out, go right ahead. Go right ahead. I don't mind it. I'm gonna surf here. Now, the next move that I'm gonna do, so you're gonna knock us out with the Dragon Dance, or Dragon Darts, I should say. I'm gonna go out into my Dragon Knight. We live that somehow, wow. I can't believe we live that. Dragon Knight is definitely gonna come out next. It definitely has to. And I don't have an answer for Dragon Knight, except for more Peko, I guess. I can fake out, and that's it. Because the Self Rock are up, more Peko can't really do much to my opponent. 
We cannot do anything. Cinderace comes out. We can honestly go to Dragon Knight and just set up some Dragon Dances, bruh. That is... That's your play. That's got to be your play. Yeah, you're, unless this Dragon Knight is not packing the Dragon Dance, then that's 100% understandable. So, you turn That's perfectly fine. Because if he goes into his own Dragon Knight, best believe I'm going to break that multi-scale with Morpeko's um, fake out. And then do some shenanigans. That's what we're going to do. Come on. Dragon Knight it is. I know you want to go Dragon Knight. Snips comes out. Okay. So Snips the Togekiss comes out, which is already paralyzed. Morpeko can honestly just fake out an aura wheel here. I can't get away with doing that. But... I'm gonna go more Peko. I really don't mind going more Peko here. Because honestly, I'm gonna fake out and I'm gonna hit the aura wheel. Or should I just hit the aura wheel right now? No, 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 no. I'm gonna fake out first. I'm gonna fake out and I'm just gonna aura wheel. Because I wanna get an aura wheel so I make sure I outspeed the Cinderace. That's the biggest thing that I want to do. So here we are. We're a beautiful dark type now. And we're just gonna hit you with... Ah, oh, wait a minute. We can't really hit you with the aura wheel anymore because we're a dark type. We're gonna Volt Switch. We kinda have to. I should have Aura Wheeled that turn. That was the play. And I kinda messed it up for myself. So we're gonna go ahead and just switch out of there. And we're just gonna go out into the Gardevoir. I think that's my play, right? Gardevoir. I hope this thing gets the paralysis. Come on, get fully para. Fully para, fully para, fully para. Okay, Thunder Wave again. That's fine. I don't mind that. I really don't. And then, the play is to Moonblast. We're just going to hit this thing with the Moonblast. And a Dragon Knight comes out. And the reason I lock myself into the Moonblast is because if Dragon Knight comes out, tries to Dragon Dance on us, yes, it'll take the Moonblast fairly well, but I can at least weaken it and then come out into my own Dragon Knight. I really hope this Dragon Knight is not weakness policy, though. Because if it is, then that's probably a good game. So Cinderace is coming out. Okay. This Cinderace can't do anything to us. I'm going to Boom Blast, and I know it's not very effective, but that's what we're going to do. Pyro Ball. Okay. We should live it. No, we don't. We do not live this. That's okay. We're good. All I got to do here is go Tensino. No, I, my play was Serena. Tensino's not outspeeding a Cinderace. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? I definitely, you know, just threw Cincino out there with without the need to. I'm sorry, Cincino. I hope you know that. We outspeed? What? Are you adamant, Nature? Because I'm definitely Dolly. I'm pretty sure Cinderace is, is adamant. It has to be. That means we have to outspeed the Dragon Knight. Because I'm base, base 110, I think. Base 110, Cincino. Oh, Cincino, you're putting in some beautiful work. Big D comes out the Dragon Knight. And we're just going to Rock Blast here. We should outspeed it. And even if it's multi-scale, we are okay. We're perfectly fine. What you going to do? He can't really Dragon Dance because I got this I got the Skill Link Rock Blast. Man, since you know put in some massive work against this team. Massive work. I'm so I'm so proud. Extreme speed. Okay. That's the good play. That's your. That's the play you had to make, to be quite honest. Now, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna break this thing's multi-scale, and I'm gonna make it a. I'm gonna make it flinch. I'm gonna make it flinch. So I'm gonna go more Peko here. We're gonna fake it out. Just don't dra don't Dynamax on me. That's the only thing I ask for. Because if you do, I'm Dynamaxing with my uh, Gudra. And then I mentioned earlier I had Dragonite in this team. That was my pro that was my last team. So ignore what I said. Gudra is my my Dragon type. Okay. At least I think I said I had Dragon Knight in the team. I don't remember. I know you want a Dynamax, but don't do it. Please. Please, I beg you. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because if you do, I'll just Dragon Dynamax. I'll, I'll Dynamax my Serena. I, he's Dynamaxing. I figured. So we got to play that Dynamax battle in this one. And that's, that's okay. That is okay. 
I still want to fake out because I'll break this thing's multi-scale. And at least I'm pressuring it not to go for a dragon dance. So that's a win in my book. I'm going to fake out here. Break the multi-scale, which it really didn't do anything. Max Wormwind hits. And we're going down. We're going way down. All right, so Morpeko goes down. And honestly, Serena is the play. I drop kick here to lower this thing's leftover. Oh, yeah, that's that's not good for us. Or should I play rough? I kind of want to play rough, but at the same time, I want to drop kick to lower this thing's attack. I think we... I'm going to drop kick. And then I die to Max Kudra. That's the play. That has to be the play. What is this? Okay, that doesn't matter. So I'm going to go ahead and drop kick here. Let's come down to the wire. We're going to drop kick, lower this thing's attack stat. This is why I went for that. And Max Wormwind is going to end, hit us, which is perfectly fine. We, we live it. We live it. We definitely live it. So we're good. Attack goes down, unfortunately. Now we gotta do now is drop kick again. I just wanna make sure Gudra can come out here, take an attack from this thing, and knock it back with a with a dragon type attack. With a Draco Meteor or Max Wormwood, whatever I'm gonna go for. Okay, so attack goes down again. I'm gonna max strike, lower my speed, and that's perfectly fine. I don't mind that. Because we're going to go down... Oh, we're not going to go down here, actually. I thought we were going to go down for a second. At least it's not weakness policy. We don't have to worry about that. I am scared. I really am. I'm going to drop kick again. Get it at minus three. It's probably going to outspeed us. Or go for an extreme speed. One of the two. Just don't dragon dance on us. That's all I ask for. Because if you do, I'm just going to keep drop kicking. Dragon Claw, that's fine. I thought we were going to take that for a second. So this thing is at a minus three. We're definitely going to be able to come into Gudra and knock this thing out. I'm almost confident we will. And since you Dynamaxed on your last Pokemon, you best believe I'm going to Dynamax my Gudra. You try, to, you try to get the win that way, and it's just it's not going to work for you. All right, Gudra, time to go big, uh, big boy right here. <laughs> I'm gonna add insult to injury here. I'm just gonna hellstorm because it's times four I know if I go for the dragon the Draco meter max worm win it's times two times 1.5 And I think times four is way better than that Because technically speaking It'd be 3.5 that right that the dragon type attack does and and this is gonna knock out for sure You're gonna outspeed that's fine. We should be able to take this Easy, Gudra. You are thick. You are very thick. Its speed goes down. And Hailstorm is going to definitely do this. We're modest nature, so it's going to knock out. There you go. Hell goes up, which really doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure... We would have definitely lived a, a Dragon Claw from this thing without Dynamaxing, and we would have definitely won, so... It is what it is. Jorgen, that was a really good battle. It's a shame we had to Dynamax for this one, but it is what it is. I'm taking your lead card. Thank you for that Wi-Fi battle. If you enjoyed, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. It's your boy Daddy Max signing off. I'll see you guys next time.